ground was uh, so hard the uh, ground staff was actually watering it before play got underway here today. Michael Long asks an early question. Yeah, I'm with you, Lee Greek. Being in the ruck, Pete, Essendon have put all their tools in the forward line. There's Alessio, Lloyd and Lucas, and that's where they hope to stretch the Sydney Swans' defence. Simons, not quite a clean position. Chance for the Bombers, Hefferton. Up the half boards as far as it's going. Saddington. Loose ball, free kick, holding decision, going Sydney's way. Free kick to be taken by McPherson. First and right centre wing, Goods making a lead. Last time I saw, saw him play was in the under 18s grand final here a couple of seasons back. Carey was the big flyer, and again the umpires found a free kick. Now Buick's got the footy, but he's bringing it back. It's going to be Young's free, I think. Well, well big Stephen Carey, I mean, he's doing there what he has to do. He's got to be able to present a target at centre half forward for Sydney, and when the ball comes, really attack it. Hardwick to Long. Well done by Michael Long. Played on quickly and then kicked towards uh, right half forward. McCurry getting away from Nix's mark. Safely on his chest. He's a little too far out to score. About 65, 70 metres out. Passes into the pocket. Top mark taken by Lucas. Out in front there of his immediate opponent, Rowan Wolf. So Lucas with uh, an opportunity to score at very difficult angle. In the uh, right forward pocket for the Bombers. Right up against the boundary line, so providing a lead is Grigic. Nothing much coming of that. Lucas goes for goal. He gets uh, pretty good distance, but uh, just offline. And through for the first score of the game, Scott Lucas has kicked it behind. Dipper on the boundary with uh, the interchange for the Swannies. Yeah, Pete, we've got John Stevens, Ben Matthews, Troy Cook and Gerard Bennett playing his first game off the rookie list and, and who turned 20 years of age yesterday. Good luck to the young man. Yes, big day for him as well. A couple of debutants. Mark taken by Matthew Nix at right half back. Nix kicks in the direction of the interchange bench and he's looking like has taken the mark. Daniel McPherson. Or is he not being paid? He hasn't been paid. So it's a boundary throw in right next to the interchange gates on centre wing. I guess you've got to hold them today. Top temperature around about 22 degrees. Rigic gets the hand pass away. Hefferton on the barn out on the Buick. Kicks inside 15. They come from everywhere. It's a great mark. Lloyd. That's as good a mark as you'll see in a situation where the player from behind providing the pressure, he knows he's got to get through. You can see Alessio and Dunkley in front. It was a really strong mark. Dunster esque, that one, or Lockett esque, if you like. Well, you can see why Essendon went out of their way to ensure they signed this boy up for an extended period of time, didn't you? What, what he did, he really just attacked the ball. The other. The rest of the players just seem to stop and prop and wait for the ball to come. Not Matthew Lloyd. He attacked it and attacked it hard. He'll kick from outside 50. About 52 metres. Oh, what a kick. First goal of the box. Well, you can never question his accuracy. I mean, this year, that's his seventh goal for the year, and it's been 7-1 out of the uh, three games to date. And so he, he really does provide the focal point that, that Essendon need. And if Essendon are going to continue to develop this year and be a strong side in this competition, they need a full forward who is going to convert. And uh, this man does very strong hands in marking and an excellent kick on the left foot. Hundred and ninety one centimetres, Matthew Lloyd and uh, the young man has certainly built a lot of strength into his body. And a top mark and goal. First of the game. And uh, the umpire restarting play. Paul Kelly with the football. Did the Essen players very quick there to get in on Ilya Grigi. He went for the ruck work. The ball dropped down to his feet. And then he was the first man back into the contest and laid the tackle. So big Ilya out to impress here today. Well, the bounce really favoured him there. Uh, Cresswell not able to break away. McPherson. Umpires found a free kick. It might go to the Swans on the bottom of the pack. Maybe Paul Kelly being interfered with. Cresswell going back. Maybe looking for the free kick, but it's Kelly to take it. And Paul Kelly will kick the Swans into their forward 50. He kicks it out in front of Goods. Up the, up the back, though, was Fletcher. It was a good leap and mark by Dustin Fletcher. And a positive sign for the Bombers early in the game. Their defenders flying high and marking. There's a good effort there for the Bombers. 
It may have come from uh, Blumfield. The ball finishes with Barry. Barry over the top. Carey will kick a goal. Good kick by Stefan Carey. He's hooked it a little bit too far in the finish. And he misses off to the left. So the Swans a chance there as Stefan Carey registers the first score for the Swans. Dipper. Like Carousella, Ben Doolan uh, playing uh, for the Bombers on the bench today. Peter Berger, Peter Berbatkoff and also Mark McVie. Thank you. First and short of right half forward. Inside 50. Young got him to the back of his opponent, I think. It might be a Swans free kick here. It will be to Leo Barry. Well, Leo Barry's one of the players they're looking at to be able to kick a score here, Sydney. Keeps his eye on the world. Just that little hand on the shoulder there from Barry Young. I'd have to say it was a bit soft, wasn't it? But Sydney really need this opportunity. They've had one shot at goal. Stephen Carey, he had more time than he thought he had, and his kick was a, a little bit quick. This is a set shot that Crouch, uh, that he should really make the most of, Barry. Barry right on 50. That looks pretty good. Going on by and move. He would be happy. Sydney gets their first. So Leo Barry must be a significant contributor to the goal scoring here today. Adam Good's playing in the forward line. He as well needs to be in there. But Barry has got a very, very competent and well, I mean to say, well balanced type player. I, I like the left footer in him there. He's always in control. Ankle injuries held him back last year. Also a shoulder, as you can see, but that's a very good kick. The vision of Michael Long, his presence, his awareness, and his composure on a football field is magnificent. Not bad, this bloke, either, Mark McCurry. He's 50 metres from goal. Yeah, look, Michael Long's work there. I mean, he's really come out to make a difference in this game early, Michael Long. He's wearing the captaincy hat for the uh, first time officially here. His play there, just knowing what was going on around him, has really set up this opportunity. McCurry from 50. Goes short. Buick. Back to McCurry. McCurry still. Then kicks it to the uh, opponent between himself and the uh, goals. O'Brien taken down. All fair and above board. Goal has been kicked. Is it Lloyd again? No, it's been touched off the boot, has it? Gee, Lloyd's snapshot, it was accurate, but touched off the boot. Registers are behind. And we, we need to see uh, Dean Rioli's tackle there. It was in hard and strong and uh, football up in the Northern Territory. Yeah, they play Aussie rules, but they also play a fair bit of rugby. And so tackling does become prevalent in that sport. And he really did well there, holding the ball in. Next to O'Brien. The lateral a little bit longer, looking for Stafford. Schwoss. Along the boundary line. Bomford, maybe, if the ball sits for him. It doesn't. Fletcher's there to block it away from Kevy anyway. So a throw in. Left half forward flank for Sydney. As uh, the interchange players enjoy the match from down there. One of those was Jared Bent, the rookie. Currently 23, expected top 22. Terrific day for footing. A little bit of cloud cover. Rigic, Fletcher, Peter bounds on the foot. Peter, a little bit of a lull here while the free kick is taken for the Swans. The Swans were going to be beaten badly in the reserves uh, at one stage. They fought back, eventually went down to the Bombers by about three goals over at Punt Road. So their fans watching would be interested in the fact that some of their youngsters have done well in that game. Goods and Crouch both missed it. Young to Mercury, Barnard, long. Did well to get a hand pass away in the end, and the umpire says it's a free kick going against in the way. McCurry's got it. But Pete Craig O'Brien again, he knew Michael Long was coming to his left side and was there to lay the tackle. Mercury from midfield. Lloyd at the back. Couldn't complete it. Brigitte to Shepard. Bomford. Blumfield in the road. Luff. Now Bomford again. Does well in a tight situation on the carry. Carry at left half back. Luff good too. He got the hand pass out there to Bomford. Schwatter. Along the boundary line again. Clear of Fletcher. Goods in the front position. They come from all directions. A little topo. Off the, oh, off the ground. Gee, Barnard with it solidly there. Maxfield on the run. Loves these. Goes at goal. And he has hit the post. You've set it up, Stuart Maxfield, in that crunch of players back at half forward. The one behind the former Tiger. Well, they've certainly come to play, haven't they, Sydney? 
Here it is here. Craig O'Brien knows that Michael Long wants to come around onto his left foot to kick and held his ground there very, very well. But uh, Sydney looking to be able to keep one of their class players in the forward line. They're interchanging Swash and Kelly as the Rovers. So uh, Kelly's in the forward line now. Swash out in the midfield. Long to kick it back. Gets it just outside his defensive 50. Grigic got his hands on it. Couldn't hang on to it. Carey over the top. Grigic. And the umpire will call for a bounce about 53, 54 metres from the Swans' goal. They've kicked a goal through Leo Barry. Matthew Lloyd has kicked Essendon's goal. And the Swans lead by two points. Carey to do the ruck work as Stafford goes back to assist the half-back line. Carey playing at uh, half forward for the Swans. The tap was very good. The ball finishes there with Barry away to Schwoss. Schwoss's kick in front there of Barry. So uh, that couldn't have been Leo Barry. That Oh, this is going to bounce out. No. Taken there by Buick right on the goal line. So the Bombers defend. Buick's kick outside his defensive 50. Up high there was Blumfield. Gathered by Grigic. Out wide. They've set something up here. Carousella. It's only been on the ground a few minutes. He's kicked towards full forward. Lloyd again. A big crunch. Taken down was Rioli. Gets the hand pass away to Lucas. Lucas is kicked, smothered off the boot. Chance for Wharf. He's a dower in and under, Rowan Wharf, and they get out of trouble. Maxfield to O'Brien, and the Swans go down the ground. O'Brien up and under kick, maybe intended for Carey. The lead is there, though. Barry's got it. Too far out to score. Kick and a half from goal. Kelly wants it out in front. Barry puts it there. He's on the move and marks. Well done. Well, the Sydney side, without a recognised full forward, have to continue to, to have mobility in that forward line. And Paul Kelly did it very well. First off, he led back, giving that option there to Barry. When he didn't want that, he turned, he came very hard again, came forward and was on with a very good pass. So Paul Kelly, 95 Brownlow medalist from 40 metres, kicks a goal and gets the goal. Well, he's working very hard, Paul Kelly, and great to see him back in league football after missing the latter half of last year with that knee injury. And what a critical player he is to the Sydney Titans. There he is. There's his first lead, and he did come back hard. And then, as a result of coming back, created that hole in its centre half for it for himself to lead back into. Two last week, another one now. Good start to him. Barnard having a spell on the bench for the Bombers. And Cook comes on for McPherson for the Swans. We've got uh, seven and a half minutes left in the first term. Russell trying to get past. Grigic, Heffernan. Kick smothered off the boot. Cresswell, his kick as well smothered. Russell and Simons spilled back now for Barry. G. Eston uh, outnumbered the Swans around the ball there. Hardwick gets the hand pass away and then he kicks it himself to half forward. Good mark taken by Mercury. Looking to play on Mark Mercury. Goes in the direction of and nearly falls Lloyd. Could it be deemed as a free kick? Slips out of the hands of Lucas. Why wasn't Lloyd rewarded with a free kick? Maybe. Yeah, the umpire's heard here because Lloyd's taken front on. Now here it comes here. There it is. And there is no eyes at all for the ball from Rowan Wolf. Each time that's done, the player coming from the front needs to turn and look at the football. Rowan Wolf didn't do that. That should have been an interference free kick. Boundary throw in. Left forward pocket there for Essendon. Lucas keeps it alive. Gets it back to Alessio. At the feet of the big man. A little awkward. Carousella's left foot kick will be marked by Schloss. Schloss just up from the back pocket. Gets a call from the umpire to play on, which he does find Bomford, a former bomber. Out wide, O'Brien. Used to see him on the forward line, Schwoss. There was a whistle. Schwoss's kick ill-directed. Should have done better. Lloyd takes the mark in front of Barry. Yeah, what they should have done, Pete, they started to switch a play on the outer side. They need to keep the ball on that side of the ground, not bring it back in. Good kick. Well, it's a booming kick. Mark is just as good. Blumfield. Well, the angle is the only problem about kicking this guy. He's got sticky fingers, this lad. Well, this is uh, insult to injury for Wayne Schwoss because Blumfield's the guy who's got the job on Schwoss and Kelly, when, whoever's on the ball. And it was Schwoss's poor kick that turned the ball back Essendon's way. The rebound kick, Blumfield back in defense, in a defensive situation watching Schwoss gets an opportunity now as a forward. 
23 career goals from his 49 matches. Accuracy needed from 15 metres, and he's hooked it. One behind only. Deserved better. His first score of the day, a behind. Essendon have had a lot of the play, and Sydney have the lead. Nine plays 16 in the first quarter. And we're inside the last six minutes of the opening term. Craig O'Brien again to bring the ball back. Uh, Michael Long has had knee problems. He's missed a lot of football subsequently. O'Brien, uh, that's a beautiful kick. Looks for Dunkley. Couldn't find him. Saddington on the left to half forward. Wellman, likewise sticky fingers over the top of Barry, does it well. Mercury again, some space away from Creswell. Crouch and Buick. Buick in front. Kept the ball in play. Dunkley, he'll take it out of play. The crowd will ask the question, and the umpire says throw it in. Peter Mark Mercury has had nine possessions so far in this first term. So certainly had a lot of the footy. As young McVie prepares to come onto the ground. Five minutes left in the first term. Big punch away. Nicks, well, he'd probably uh, be reasonably satisfied with that Matthew Nicks. He was going to be under a bit of pressure if he kept the ball inside. So it'll be thrown in. The Swans are 16, Essendon are 9. Kelly and Barry have kicked the goals for the Swans, and Matthew Lloyd has kicked the goal for the Bombers. Gee, that's like rugby scrum, wasn't it? Grigic, well done. Terrific play by Dunkley. His kick was smothered off the boot, but he went after it again. So the second effort, very good. Russell missed it altogether. Wellman tackled by Bomford was good play by the Swans player applying the pressure. Wallace, left-hand hand pass, Carousella and Cook. Now Young and Goods, well done by Goods. Kept his eye on the body. Heffernan's going to get run down by Maxfield. Still Heffernan holding the ball. Well done by Adam Goods. That's exactly Maxfield. what the Swans wanted to do before the game, just keep the pressure on all the time. Well, their harassing tactics in and under has been very good dipper so far in the game, if they could keep it up. Schwoss, his kick towards full. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Terrific stuff by the skipper. He is a player with a heart, if it's possible, as big as himself. That is just a, a sensational mark, because the way in which the Swans were charging down the ground, they had to make the most of this opportunity. And for Paul Kelly, he's not the tallest man in the competition, to be able to lunge himself at the ball the way he did and take it very cleanly in strong hands. An excellent play. Not a bad kick at goal either. He's got two on the scoreboard early. Two goals to Kelly, one to Barry, and Sydney lead by 13 points. It's well, settling pretty well, Pete, isn't it? Just there with Kelly being down there and being able to give an option. He's now going back into the centre bounce. Schwoss is the player to drop on out. And so what Rodney Eddy is looking for, he's looking for an experienced and a quality player to always be in the forward line, to work with Adam Goods, to keep Stephen Carey on his job. Kelly and Schwoss are the two men to do that for him. One hundred and forty career goals to Paul Kelly as veteran Essendon coach Kevin Sheedy looks on. So back to the centre. Two great marks in the first quarter, Lloyd and Kelly. And speaking of Kelly, he gets the next kick as well. So consecutive kicks to Paul Kelly. Carey had it knocked away. Fletcher will he go off the ground? He will. Educatedly to the boundary line. I don't think it's going to get there. Simons takes it over. And it will be a throw it in Sydney's right forward pocket. Rodney Eade, uneasily in the coach's seat, it would appear. Two down from two. They haven't lost three under his tutelage since he took over. The last time they lost three in a row, as I said, back in 1995. And, of course, last year winning their first five. Carey tries to do a Gary Adlett. Long. Wallace. Great work. Good. Tackled by Troy no. Cook and a rush behind. Would you have to be a game umpire to <laughs> squeeze him out oh, for yeah. a free kick there? Yeah, no problem there. No, the umpire <laughs> gave the right one. But but Troy Cook were right on there. He started the game in the change bench and so would want to do well. And, and being out there in that forward line, he's quite aggressive on the tackle. Held up Wallace well. Long gets the ball away. Two or three of his teammates involved in that passage of play. Rioli dispossessed. The ball spills for Long again. So Michael Long... Two touches in that passage of play. Buick out wide. Buick's kick to within scoring distance. Lloyd at the back. I think he's got it, hasn't he? 
himself and also Stafford coming back and so he's pretty much horizontal with the ground when he takes the football that's, well, it, it that's only tremendous. spilled out of his hands when he hit the ground didn't it that yeah, is it, a great mark Robert yeah it was fantastic yeah. another Stafford is about what six foot six terrific mark well the footy fans love that stuff like some of your best dipper so Matthew Lloyd going for his second from about 20 meters and he just pops it through beautifully Two goals to Lloyd, two goals to Kelly for the respective Bombers and the Swans. And the Swans hold the lead. It is an eight-point margin. Well, Essendon had a fair bit of the football. I mean, they, they probably had another dozen disposals than the Sydney Swans side. But the Swans are doing well. Here we have got a quality forward being able to offer a focal point for the Essendon side, whereas the Swans are going to have to use multiple attacks. Lloyd looks very good at this stage. One hundred and sixty six goals in Lloyd's career now. Twenty three plays fifteen. Sydney still in front. The last three minutes of the first quarter. Alessio wins that one straight to Schwoss. Bounces it to right half forward. Carry a chance, but outnumbered, ridden into the ground. Ball jar three. Fletcher and Cook. Fletcher back and board to Hardwick. Hardwick nicely to long on to Barry Young. Young looking for options downfield, kicks to left half forward, Sydney through Creswell. Well, they've been working out the time, the Swannies defence, they've done well. Schwoss's kick, ordinary, still in play, free kick, arguably, not so. Still in play. Nix, well, now out of bounds on the foot. Well, that was a comedy of errors. Well, actually, I thought they were quite skillful at keeping the ball inside the boundary line. Yeah, spot on, Robbo. I just saw Paul Kelly there. It was a bit stiff. He kept the ball in yeah, play so and, and then got yeah. held. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. He's been redirected to take the kick, Carousella. That's one of the interesting things about that deliberate out of bounds. I mean, it, it, it adds another skill to the player's uh, little kit bag, doesn't it? Oh, without doubt at all. Uh, you know, yeah, but if Paul Kelly put the ball over bounds, it would have been a, a free kick against him. He kept it in and got nothing for it. Carousella kicks right in front of Dipper. Creswell got the mark. Now Schwoz. Kicking has let him down today a little bit. That one's a beauty. Right to Carey. Kick and a half out. Well done. Oh, kick off the boot. Barry's got it. And Barry will kick from about 50. He's already got one. And a chance to increase Sydney's lead. Well, they've set this up very well, and Stephen Carey does what he just holds on the ball long enough, waiting for Barry to be able to present himself with the lead. Leo Barry, just his agility in, in the forward line at the moment, is really uh, creating some degree of havoc, I think, within the uh, Essendon back line. Going for his 29th league goal. Don't think he's got it. It's missed to the right-hand side. We'll wait on the goal and fire, but I fancy it's a minor score. It is. So one goal, one to Leo Barry in the dying moments of the first quarter. So Sydney to 3-6, Essendon to 2-3 inside the last minute of the term. A lively customer, Leo Barry. He's had seven touches uh, in the first quarter. Five kicks, two hand passes. He's kicked a goal. The kick in in the direction of Long. Wellman there, confronted by uh, the Swans player, Russell. And he forces a boundary throw in. Michael Long, Scotty Russell, both... Uh, Tremendously uh, skilled players for their respective teams. Stafford up high. Alessio keeps his footing and then gets the handball out wide to Long. Long to go down the ground. Forced to kick with the right. Wasn't quite as good as he would have liked. And Matthew Lloyd just looking down the ground a little disappointingly. He wasn't glaring at the new skipper, was he? <laughs> oh, no, I think that, uh, you know, if, you ever, if you've ever played a perfect game of football, I've yet to see it. I think they all uh, will make a slight error at some stage during a game of footy. Stafford in front, Blumfield over the top, McVee, a high kick by the left footer. Up the back there, working hard, Luff. Now Saddington across the full back line. He's going to cough it up. Carousella gets this, you nearly get a goal. It's well outside 50, but the shepherd is being provided by Rioli. He unselfishly puts it to McGurry. Well, what a good percentage play. This man is very skillful. 
who finished, finished last year with 24 goals. And uh, this year he's been right in amongst. He's been the best bowling player in the two games to date. Important kick. But don't worry about it. Oh, geez. I tell you what, you're nearly back in. In that situation, he's such a reliable kick for goal, no matter where he is. And I think Blake Carousello, he may have been a bit fortunate that uh, Mercury was the player in the pocket on his own. But what a player to have a shot after the siren. He's had 10 possessions, Mark Mercury. And that goal just gave the Bombers a chance there to... Uh, well, they've kicked their third. They trail by three points at quarter time. Sydney 3-6, Essendon 3-3. Three, three. Well, sort of situation that coaches hate after working so hard for most of the term. And Essendon have got back to within a kick after that shot by Mercury, his first goal of the quarter. Matthew Lloyd had two. We'll take a break. Back at the G after this. The Essendon uh, Ben said to, to Ryan, listen, Ryan, if you're playing at Essendon, you'll be playing in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Second quarter from the MCG. Sydney leading by three points after Mark Mercury got a goal right on the siren, or in fact after the siren. 24 plays 21. Alessio loses out. Creswell's hand pass was not effective. Schwasser fires a tackle on Blumfield. And the umpire will ball it up again, just all as, in this time. Just as a follow-on from Ryan O'Connor, Essendon are that secretive about their injuries on the bench, even the player wouldn't even know what was wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> Great of the week, Robbo. <laughs> I think you've been rehearsing that one, <laughs> Russell. Carey. He's doing well, isn't he, Stephen Carey? Can't he just keeps you. moving around and giving him the focal point. He's against no slouch here in Wellman either. Carey, long bomb, he'll get the distance with the kick. Oh, it just shaved the top of the post or went on the left. It's a behind, but a good kick from Carey. So, three behinds, he's kicked for the afternoon. Dipper, the interchange for Sydney. We see on the screen there, Troy Cook, Ben Matthews, Gerard Bennett and Daniel McPherson. Thanks, Dipper. Kicking it as Berbikov. Berbikov, Alessio and Stafford. Stafford a charge, Crouch. A little give, Maxfield off the ground. Now Sydney can build on this Schwass. Blumfield takes him out. Kick down further forward from Wharf. And through for a rush behind to Sydney. Second rush behind. Increasingly lead by it. That margin, five points the difference. Dipper on the bench with Essendon's interchange. Uh, ben Dillon, Ilya, uh, Grigic, and Paul Barnard and Mark McVie. Wallace, a little book onto McCurry. An open Essendon forward line. Lloyd, strong grab in front of Luck. Or over Luck. Have to make a change there. Uh, yes, I think they've probably even just swapped the pair of them over. Dunkley and uh, Luff let them swap over. But, but when we look at the Sydney forward line, it just lacks confidence at the moment. The team itself hasn't identified who their goal scorer is going to be. I mean, Stephen Carey's got a bit of football for him, but three straight behinds following one four last week. And Bomford there, he was the player who made the error, and he's paying the price now, heading towards the interchange bench. Whereas Essendon sweep it on down this near side, and because they've got a focal point, because they've got a name full forward, they were much more direct. Could be a two-goal turnaround, therefore. Lloyd doesn't miss these. Hasn't missed that much. He's kicked his third early in the second quarter. Matthews has come onto the ground. Peter, number 36, Ben Matthews for the Swans, taking the place there of Andrew Bomford. Yeah, a re real poor piece of play there by Sydney. And uh, we, we look at their lacking Tony Lockett, they're lacking Dale Lewis, they're lacking Michael O'Loughlin, all forwards who can give them a target. And when they're not there, the players become a little bit reserved and hold in, and they've paid the ultimate price here. Matthews, the player who has come onto the ground at the expense of Andrew Bomford. We believe Andrew might be sitting it out on the bench, the sin bin, as it uh, is sometimes yeah. referred to, and uh, maybe he did commit one of the sins when uh, the kick didn't quite carry to the proposed receiver of the footy, Schwass. Oh, oh. Terrific leap by Carey. Couldn't take the mark. Gathered here by Fraser. Fraser's first real clear possession. He's had a couple of hand passes. That was Wallace. And Duckley, Stafford and Alessio. Now Carousella. 
maybe the uh, more agile of the three or four players there, he gathers and gets the ball to Buick. I think that's what they're all looking for, uh, Robbo, is someone that's a little bit quicker to join the fray. Buick into the pocket, oh, what a mark! Look, you, you do, it, it, it appeals to you, Terry, doesn't it? Because you know the circumstances, it's, it's tough, it's in, they're all around you, and the boy has got the strength in his body to hold his position, watch again here. And the, the critical thing, he's got eyes only for the ball. And if you've got eyes only for the ball and your hands are strong as Matthews, uh, you're really going to do some damage in the forward line. When the ball's coming in, he will always move and meet the ball. He won't wait for the ball to come to him. He's very, very aggressive. Five marks coming up for kick number six. He's got three goals. Not a bad start. Well, you'd reckon he'd get the distance. He's kicked it across the face and slipping through the fingers there of Scott Lucas. Registers are behind for the Bombers. Three goals, two against the name there of Matthew Lloyd. And Nix will kick it back for the Swans. Difference is back to two points. 28 plays 26. 16 minutes remaining in the quarter. Nix goes to the member stand side. Looks for and finds O'Brien in the back pocket, or just up from there. Just keeping my eye on Duckley to see if he gets the job. That full back, Nix. Stevens. Winding along at the moment. Barry, a little bit of a nudge out on Berbakov. Essendon with numbers. Shepherd by Young. Gets it back to him. That was well played. Now they need somebody to pick up the crumb. Schwoss is there, though. It's kicking's let him down today. Fraser. Mercury on his own. Thought about going off. Goes back to the kick. Puts it out in front of goal. Forward line certainly working much better now. Yes, it is. They're, uh, they're used to the ball now. They've got back into kicking the ball a bit. I thought in the first quarter they overused the handball and uh, got themselves caught up at different times. But just in this second quarter, they've decided to kick the ball more often and they're really finding targets are out and clear. For his first, he's already kicked it behind Blumfield 40 meters out. He might have squeezed that one through. He has, he's got. The four goal, three goal kickers for Essendon, Lloyd three, Mercury one, and Blumfield there getting his first. 5 4 to 3 8. Bombers go further ahead. Yeah, and it's just getting a little bit dangerous now for Sydney. And that's the last four goals of the game that have gone to uh, Essendon. The last two of the first quarter where that man, Mercury, kicked one right on the quarter time siren, and now two in this quarter. They're just starting to stretch out a little bit. This centre bounce becomes very important for Sydney. He's just a great player, Mark Mercury. His pass finds Rioli. Rioli towards full forward. The mark is taken back there by Alessio. And how about the difference in the stature there between Derek Cresswell and Steve Alessio? He's just too big a man, isn't he, Alessio? And uh, that's a piece of the armoury that Kevin Sheedy's got to work with here today. Griggy and Alessio back, back there being able to float on into the forward line. Alessio always gives him a target when he goes down there. I mean, Four goals, one last week with five marks. Always dangerous in this particular part of the ground. Yes, a goal-kicking big man, Steve Alessio. And he's reliable, too. He's very reliable. It's a goal. He's kicked his first goal halfway through the second term. Plenty of time in the match for Alessio to add to that tally. An instant kick away, they lead by 13 points. Now, another a tick here to Dean Rioli. He was a player who kicked it into Alessio, had it on the outer side, was very quick to have a look and sum up the situation. Saw the big fella who had floated on down into the forward line and uh, on it for him. Very good kick from him and finished off by Alessio. Dean Rioli. He was the man that shot out the pass to Alessio for his 107th career goal. But the Bombers doing it as they like seemingly at the moment. Swans without a focal point up forward. And Kelly with that brilliant mark in the first quarter resulting in one of two goals to him. But their forays up there have been irregular at best. And see if they can get it out of the centre. Blumfield couldn't get a kick at it. Kelly nearly had his head taken off. It's got the ball underneath him. Needs to get rid of it. That would be harsh. But he has been free kicked. So the free kick going Heffernan's way. Now Hardwick to half forward. Well, that's a bad sign. Crouch. 
Loses out. Lloyd kicks it off. He's got four. Well, a couple of mistakes there proving costly for Sydney. Well, I think the uh, question can be asked. They had 12 scoring shots to 11, and it was the time where they had a certain amount of control over the game. But they didn't put the score on the board, and against quality opposition, if you don't take the most of your opportunities, gee, they can come back and uh, bite you. Yeah, and, and when the opportunities aren't taken in the forward line, other players start to lose confidence. And we just saw it there. It definitely didn't have real confidence in going for that mark. See, not much happening for Sydney on their forward line, is there? Buick takes out Crouch. Still Buick. Effective hand pass. Wellman. On the burst to right half forward, Lloyd gets on his bike, clear of Dunkley, wobbles the punt kick out in front of goal. Here's a chance for Rowell for his first goal. And you get it. What a goal for the answer. The long time since I said Rowell, he's got the goal. Well, and there looks to be a little bit of his uncle in that there, doesn't there? Yeah, yeah, my Nephew word. of Morris Rioli, who was such a sensational player here on this particular ground for the Richmond Football Club, and now it's Dean Rioli's opportunity. He works well in here. He just sets the situation. The two Sydney defenders both fly in the contest, and that's a, a very grave error, leaving Rioli at ground level to finish it off. Well, he's making mincemeat of them at midfield. Carroll's sound out Blumfield. He'll get the free kick. Justin Blumfield, short of right half forward. That could be in the back as well. The umpire says no, play on. Mercury, he is literally everywhere. Buick centers the ball. They come from all directions. Rioli knocks it to the front. Wharf kicks oh, it. Right. Right, Ryan. Kelly's there. They're leading goal kicker, and he's now just up from the back pocket. And the Bradley medalist clears it to center wing. Well, that kick out in front of Bennett and Fletcher. And that's an indication of uh, how the Swans are struggling. Young Bennett is playing on the full forward line for the Swans and he's had to go all the way down into his defensive half to try and give the Swans some sort of a target to get the ball up into a goal kicking position the Swans have uh, had it over the Bombers for set of breaks 8 to 1 so far well, a couple of things in there. Stafford's getting his hand on the ball first out of there, and then you've got Kelly and Schwoss who are, have been good winning it their way, but it's the next possession after that centre bounce clearance is the critical one in the game of football, and Essendon more often than not have won that one and turned it their way. Carousella has had uh, eight touches since coming off the bench. Kelly just hacks it out of there. Bennett, handball with the open palm. Crouch, kick towards full forward. Now the race is on. Wellman wins it. Barry provides the pressure. Still Wellman. Again, an open-handed hand pass. Berbikoff will get a free kick. Too high over the shoulder on Peter Berbikoff. His kick will go close to the wing. Long and Nix. Still those two players. Long does well. Throw. Throw, according to the umpire, in a terrific position there to decide. Umpire Darren Goldspink with Darren McCauley and Ray Kelsey officiating in this match this afternoon. Carey in front, Wellman, good spoil from behind, backs himself up again, the hand pass is effective, guess who? Mercury, Carasara, Carasara, Young. Now Rioli again from Simons. To half forward, Lloyd. Oh, he looks good, doesn't he? Lloyd bends it around, he's kicked four already, will it be five? Oh, good mark, Stafford. It's uh, been given the tick by the umpire. Schwoz. Well, Sydney have got to get a goal soon. Crouch over the line goes the footy, over the line goes the player, touched it, will be a throw in. They're moving the ball beautifully at the moment, aren't they, yesterday? They've got full of confidence. They definitely are, Dipper, and you've got to be impressed with Dean Rioli to date. He's winning good ball, he's using it well. There's a bit of a question mark on his fitness over the game, but I'm looking forward to seeing him in the second half. He's had some seven disposals in this first half to date, and they've all been very good. Carousel to Wallace, to Fraser. We saw uh, Simons being examined by the club doctor down there, Ian Reynolds. Did a bit of check on that. Carey, inside 50, just. Goes in short, over the head of Russell, will it bounce for him? It needs to bounce now, Wallace has got him, got him free kick, doesn't it? No! Wallace to Doolan, and they'll run it out again. 
certainly looked as though he didn't have the footing when he was tackled. Fraser at right centre wing. The rookie list, and uh, well, they lost a quality player in James Hurd through injury. The Bombers, they look as though they've got a quality player coming in to play his first game. He's doing well. He's had eight possessions. The Swans across their half back line. Saddington running through that position, kicks the ball towards half forward. Bennett does well, just works hard. He's going to learn a good lesson playing on Fletcher. Barry to Russell, kicks smothered off the boot. They're hungry, aren't they? Two or three bombers there trying to get the footy. Wellman and Kelly has marked an awkward ball from Sean Wellman. Kelly in towards half forward. Good mark to Carey. Got to go back and kick a goal. Must go back and back yourself. You're a big man, you should kick a goal here. Very good, Robbo. They've lost some confidence here, and the whole side's looking for Stephen Carey, the biggest guy to take control down there. He needs to make something happen here. Blumfield didn't really attempt the mark. Kelly not able to take the ball away from Wellman, and it will be thrown in down to the boundary line to Dipper. You mentioned Michael Simon. He's just got a kick into the shin. Uh, nothing too serious. He is a bit of uh, pain at the moment, but it's all been iced up, and uh, we can see him back on the ground after half time. And the kick in the shins can hurt, especially in uh, June, July, and August, can't they? Carousel to Doolan. Kick partially smothered. Chance for long. Michael certainly done nothing wrong today in the new role as captaincy. Shares it with Frioli. A fellow Territorian, Lucas behind, gets out marked by Wolf. Just having an average day, Scott Lucas, isn't it? Just one of those days he can't get into the game at all. No, he's not having any luck at all. <laughs> Tried for the big specky long, couldn't bring it down. Maxfield can't get clear. Alessio backs into the pack and backs into trouble. Stafford, Luff, he'll be glad to get away from Lloyd. Draws the man. Bennett, you could be in trouble. No, he's not. Russell tries to get onto the right. Squares it up for Saddington, who takes the mark, 35 out. Well, they kicked six behind this quarter. Essendon trailed by three points at quarter time, but they've blown the Swans right out of the water in this term. Barnard comes on for Wallace. That's tag team wrestling, if ever I've seen it. Well, Jason Saddington really needs to take a couple of big, deep breaths here as he prepares for this shot at goal. Got to kick Sydney it. need it so desperately. Well, they had a good first quarter, but they've fallen away in the second term. Goal part doesn't move. Good then boy. He's had off. It's a goal. And I think he took another deep breath on the umpire signaled the goal. Uh, just to get that one off their chest, because uh, not only an individual, but a whole team can lose confidence when you're not getting the rewards you want. And as Pete Laney just said, that kick... There have been six behinds that have gone onto the Sydney on scoreboard between these goals, and so they desperately needed this finish. He's been very impressive in his work today, Satting. A good young player. Good on your rocket. Move them around and see if you can come up with something that uh, might give you a couple of quick goals before half time. It's a big ask. There's three and a half minutes left, but if they can get just that. It uh, just might be a ball game in the second half. Essendon control the match at this stage. They lead by 25 points. It's not a big margin. And rebounds back. Again, Lucas, a bad fumble. Wharf doing a pretty good job there on Lucas as Rowan Wharf uh, restricting his little bit of space that uh, he likes to roam into and making it very tight in and under what Scott Lucas has to do. He has to stick to the task because if he keeps working at it, he's going to create more opportunities for Matthew Lloyd who's running hot. So the passage of play currently in front of the Bombers goal about 45 metres out and the Swans in numbers they just might get clear it rebounds back to Rioli little left foot kick smothered off the boot so a contest still at half forward. Heffernan back to Carousella. Carousella's kick towards full forward Lloyd is that pay? Yes. Right. He was up high on his chest and then the second grab was brought to ground and he could have six goals on the scoreboard before half-time. Don't think Mark McCurry uh, be too happy about it? No, I'm not, I'm not sure there's a mark in there. There's the heavy clash and Mark McCurry, the player, coming off with the blood rule. And, uh, well, I think he's... We're at the 25 and a half minute mark of the second quarter, so Mark McCurry can have a little bit of a spell because he's been... An exceptional player for the Essendon Football Club here. 14 kicks and three handballs. A bit of trouble. But um, Matthew Lloyd snares the ball from over the top here and gets gets that mark. 
And he just continues to develop as a very dominating player. His, his statistics at this stage, seven marks and 11 kicks, five goals, two. Very impressive. We, there'd be some concern about the depth of this cut here with Mark McCurry. You, you would like him to come back out onto the ground. His form in the first two games has been very good. And he's been nothing short of that here already today. Well, you can see that uh, what happened to Mark Mercury was uh, caused in that marking contest, which has given Lloyd the chance to go for his sixth goal. He should kick it. And he does. Six goals before half time. Good effort. Well, the Swans really struggled to. Uh, Kicked their fourth goal, which came from Jason Saddington, and very quickly the Bombers have got one back. Yeah, and Matthew Lloyd, he's kicked six goals. He, he kicked six goals three times last year, so on a personal note, he's probably looking now to his best of eight goals back in 97. And the way he's going and the way Essendon are delivering the ball into the forward line, I, I think the eight, nine, even the ten goal barrier, which he did in the Ansett Cup, could be there for him. Essendon are playing very well in terms of their delivery of the ball into the forward line. That's the difference. Well, you've got to have a full forward too. Lockett, of course, missing. We've mentioned uh, Lockett and Lewis, so big names out for Sydney. Essendon have kicked seven goals this quarter. Sydney just the one. It's certainly been a great term for the Red and Blacks. Kelly missed it. Barnard in there. Tackled by Young. Bennett's in there as well. Barnard gives it back to the umpire. The Brute. Under two minutes to half time. Stafford. Alessio. One by the Sydney Swans player, Creswell and Long, Doolan beats them both. Kicked by number 10, McBee. Off the hands of Lloyd. Tries to shuffle it back in board. Barnard over the top, looks for a free kick. There's none there. And it'll be a ball up. Well, young McVee, they've given him a big number, haven't they? Number 10, some great players at Essendon. Gary Folds, O'Donnell, of course. I like John Coleman wore number 10. Big honour at Windy Hill to wear that one. Creswell to Kelly. Chips it in short. Maxfield. Not Maxfield. Uh, McPherson. Right half back. Gee, not too much on offer. <laughs> Even that was a mongrel kick. Well, Schwartz has had plenty of kicks. It's a real testing time for Rodney Eden, his staff at half time here. What he's got, he's got to be able to create some form of a spark in the side here. They so much need to finish this little bit of playoff here. If they can get a goal here, maybe it's something. Nicks. Well, you know why it went there? It went there because the ball spun through the air properly, kicking drop punts that hit targets. And they eventually moved it with three very good kicks down the ground with pinpoint accuracy, and it's given Barry the chance to kick a goal. So Bruce Reed with Mercury going to the Essendon rooms. He'll be stitched up at half time. So Leo Barry for his second and the badly needed one for Sydney, trailing by 31 points. He's missed it. In fact, he might have even missed the lot. They confer and they give him the behind. Right on siren time. One goal, two to Leo Barry. Simon's in the wars as well, as we've seen, but. He, uh, as Dipper said, got a kick in the shin. Let's hope it is just that. And there's Dean Rioli. What a quarter he had. He kicked a goal himself, his first in senior football, and he certainly had an assist at another as Essendon, uh, well, they nailed Sydney to the cross, didn't they? Seven goals in that term to one, and plenty of problems for Rodney E. Scores inverted, 10-4 to 4-10. Does that tell you something? It tells us that Essendon's well in command. I think it tells you that there's a very, very big difference in skill level. It tells us about the midfield, doesn't it, Robbo? That Essendon are getting the goals as a result of setting up well. Got a good player there in Lloyd to be able to finish it off. But they're in control in the midfield, whereas Sydney, under pressure all the time, as you said, can't quite get the ball to spin properly just yet. That's a critical thing, kicking properly. All right, at half-time, the Bombers with a handy lead, 10-4 to 4-10. Back at the MCG shortly. They want the first one or two to get themselves back into this match. Stafford and Alessio. And they get booted forward, albeit very shortly, by Russell. Yeah, they've got playing at full forward. It is Carey. A little give to Barry. Barry, in turn, has to apply the tackle. Essendon's defence has been terrific, led by this fellow from the key defence post, Fletcher. Alessio on his own. 
too tall for Bennett. Gets on his bike quickly. Well, they could rattle this Blumfield in front of Maxfield. Blumfield right at the centre circle. Brings it out wide to the brute. Barnard. Left centre wing. Heffernan. In fact, it was uh, Hartwick. Loose ball at half forward. Buick off the ground. Misses one behind. 31 points the margin. And to the way Essen are going, you'd nearly uh, have that one go through there for Darren Buick. Depot, who's down on the bench for the uh, Michael Simon's still on the bench uh, with that uh, kick in that shin there. And uh, Ding Wallace, uh, Ben Doolan and Big Ilya. Paul Kelly accepts the kick in and goes short, finds Matthews. They're still inside their defensive 50, the Swans. The kick in towards the middle of the ground has been taken here by Goods. Gives the hand pass away to Russell. Russell has been relatively quiet. Good mark. Berbikoff. It'll come bouncing back. Barnard. Little kick by Barnard is good. Finds McVee. McVee's kick. Bounds back off the uh, man on the mark, basically. Now the Swans through Schwoss to Russell. Left foot kick by that player is pretty good. Kelly gathers and then plays on. Kelly towards full forward. Carey in front. The ball spills to the back. The crumbs to be collected there by Carousella. Plays confidently on the last line of defence. Down the line. Still in. Then eventually Saddington taps it over. And I'm sure the uh, applause there for Carousella. His efforts to just hold up the Swans. And we look now at the Swans interchange bench. Yeah, Dunkley, Andrew Dunkley, one yeah, of them. Yeah, Dunkley, O'Brien, Stevens, and Troy. Thanks, Dipper. The uh, ball in. Stafford gathers. Left foot kick by uh, Greg Stafford towards full foot. Carey still trying to conjure up some magical trick. On this occasion, registers no score at all. It's out of bounds on the full. In Have the a left look back at the pocket. Essendon four line. Alessio, there, he's been there for about uh, half an hour on his own. There he is there at centre half forward. And getting back his goods. Wilman to Hardwick. Hardwick in the left back pocket. Fletcher, the flyer. Now Saddington from McPherson. Now just judgment there, and Werman shows them how it's done. Looks out in the midfield for Hefferton again. Mercury has been stitched up at half time, literally, and there he is once more getting the hand pass back to Long. Will they give it back to him? Mr. Magic in the forward pocket, the big Alessio, who goes at goal, but misses. Michael Long could have almost kicked it himself. Oh, didn't he let the crowd down there, but they were all <laughs> willing him, go Michael, go Michael, and he got on his bike and didn't he take off? It's just remarkable the way he's come back from those knee operations and, you know, it still has that real pace about him. He's, He's not necessarily a young man now. He's 29 years of age, turns 30 later on in the year, but geez, he can still go. He's young. Well, with Gary... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Robert. With Gary Ablett missing the crowd, loves to see stars in action like that. Goods. That left half back for Sydney, clear of Fraser. That's the skill Grouch. level I'm talking about, Pete. Yes, he lets him stop down there. Mercury again. And the difference. Nick B. One on 50. He's bombed it high. Lloyd's there. Mark it down. Coming up for number seven. What a great kick by the young man there. Fantastic kick. Well, I think there were two or three uh, kicks that came in there. The last one was a good one. But before that, uh, McCurry to uh, McVee. And earlier, there was one that came from uh, another one of the teammates down there for Essendon on that far wing. Matthew Lloyd for number seven from 15 metres out. A gimme almost. Then gets it. Well, the record by an Essendon player against Sydney or South Melbourne is 11 goals four by John Coleman. That came back in 1953, round two at the Lake Oval. Every chance that Lloyd could beat that today. I think so, Peter. Just the, his form is just spot on, and uh, his teammates now are really constructing very good forward plays that that give him the opportunity. Very good kick there from McVie. Nice little bit of height floating in. 
Well, Lloyd, uh, seven goals against his name early in the third quarter. You would have to think that he can add to that considerably by the end of the match. His immediate opponent right now is uh, Luff. Again. Stafford just forces his way through the congestion, and Carey is marked in front of Wellman. He's disappointed there, Sean Wellman, but uh, Carey, he's a big man, difficult to displace, and he's marked safely right in front of goal, only a matter of 25 metres out. Well, there's, there's no doubt. He, he has to be the workhorse here for the Sydney Football Club to get back into this game. And he, he's been pretty good right throughout the first half. He just let himself down at different times with his kicking. Now, this is a very important one here for Stefan. Yes, I think you mentioned uh, Terry in the first half, just three behinds. Going for his first goal. He's hooked it a bit. I think he sneaked it through, though. Must have only just got past, but he's kicked his first goal. Early in the third term. Well, so Stefan Kerr starts to fulfil what he needs to be able to do. In the centre of the ground, big uh, Greg Stafford. It's been a quiet afternoon, just some eight or nine disposals for him, and he, he really needs to be able to generate some more there. He's been excellent right throughout the last couple of years, Stafford, and last week kept, kept it on some 20 disposals that he had and uh, 20 hit-outs, but today hasn't been able to be as dominant. One goal, three to Stefan Kerry. Certainly a badly needed one for Sydney. Buick out of the centre. Long kick by Boris up towards half forward. Up by the play the mark. Snapped by McVee. Then towards the goal square. Off the ground, he's got another one more. No way. Twelve six to five ten. And uh, doesn't the crowd say it all? The, the Bomber fans have really been treated here to a very good piece of football from their full forward. Matthew Lloyd really has Troy Luff there well and truly covered. And what's impressive is that he's the first man up into the contest and gets first go at it, kicking off the ground. So Craig O'Brien with a uh, little bit of leg trouble by the look of it. Well, that's not good news because he's had a knee reconstruction, hasn't yeah. he? But really, you can't beat being first back up off the no, ground. No, no, I agree with Matthew that, yeah. Lloyd's goal there. It was just a great example of young players. Get up as quick as you can off the ground. Essendon will go barnstorming forward once again. Blumfield in the area of Mercury. G. Barry Young stole that. Theft by deception. Barry Young, he's still after the footy. Young Bennett tackled by Mercury. Buick hooks the ball. Not quite far enough. Forces a throw in right forward pocket for the Bombers. Some matchups at the start of the third quarter. And it has been all Essendon. They've kicked two goals since half-time. The Swans have kicked one. And you can see there the bump. Left-hand uh, top of his head, Mercury, suffered that in the marking contest, which led to Matthew Lloyd's sixth goal. McVie, gathered by Barnard. He'll just about kick a goal, won't he? Your mate, Brute Barnard, Peter, <laughs> missed to the left. You got a really, nickname, Robert. It's not a really an affectionate term, is it? But uh, he's doing well in his career with the Bombers and uh, overtime there on behalf of Rodney E. And his tag team partner, Dean Wallace, is actually uh, warming up on the boundary line here. Schwartz yeah. to kick it in. Well put, Dipper. You wouldn't pitch uh, their beers in a pub, would you? Stevens, been paid the mark. Goes the shortest way or tries to go the shortest way home. Wellman, mark or free kick. Was outmarked by Carey before the Costa goal. Keen to make a bends. On to Carousella. Carousella on his own as Blumfield. Just outside 50. Schwoz has uh, got him. Sprays the kick. There's that man again, McCurry. Well, they've shaved a bit of his hair to put in those stitches. But he's still getting plenty of the footy. And he's getting plenty of room from the Sydney side too. Look, Saddington may have him in this second half, but he's just getting out too easily. 40 metres out, Mercury, goal and fire doesn't move. It's another one. Mercury gets his second. I think we get a little bit sick of saying this, Peter, but uh, the Swans are in danger of allowing this game to be a blowout. And that's what they've got to concentrate on. Five goals, 10 to 13, seven. It's nearly eight goals. 
and we're uh, not even up to the halfway mark of the third term. It's been one-way traffic since quarter time, but actually Sydney led by three points. But Essendon has made every post a winner since then, particularly Lloyd. So the Swans, they're up against it. They trail by nearly eight goals. Russell with the football across his left shoulder. And Luff, who's been uh, obviously moved away from Lloyd. Again. Luff's kick towards half forward. Cook gets rid of Fletcher. Unceremoniously in the finish. Blumfield to Wellman. Wellman's kick. Well, a rare error by one of the boys playing for the Bombers. Wellman coughs it up to Luff. Bennett. Luff to Cresswell. Go, Peter. So I was just going to say, Bennett is the new opponent for Lloyd, Robbo. Gee, what an initiation. His first game, isn't it? Hand pass comes out to Hardwick. Hardwick's left foot kick, under a bit of pressure, finds the safety of the boundary line in front of Michael Long. One thing and it Lloyd will be thrown in. One thing Lloyd will do for Bennett is bring him to the ball. <laughs> well, that's true too, because the confidence of Matthew Lloyd must be at an absolute sky high level. In front of uh, a packed area at the left hand end of the ground, Cresswell, the hand pass. Michael Long sets it up for Blumfield. Young back to Heffernan. Heffernan to half forward. And that's a mark, a good mark. Not paid, it looked like Matthews. Mercury screaming has Matthews been paid. Just a young man too, Ben Matthews. Hasn't played uh, a lot of AFL football. He kicks it across the half forward line. Knocked away by Fletcher. Gathered by Russell. Back to Luff, Luff to assess and then deliver. And does well, finds Carey. Certainly within scoring range, only 35 metres out, slight angle. Well, that's mark number eight to Stephen Carey, so he's continued to give a focal point there. Needs to be able to finish the work off. Got one here, the, the goal, the last goal for Sydney, he got it. But as each time they do get one, Essendon then go away with a bit of a burst. And they've uh, kicked goals since Carey's last one through Lloyd, obviously, and also McCurry. So looking to be able to stem the tide just a little bit here. Got to concentrate on that. They've got to get a succession of goals. Carey goes for his second goal and he's put it through. Well done, Carey. Two goals, three against the name of Stephen Carey. He, along with Paul Kelly, have kicked two goals for Sydney. And Mark McCurry with two, but have a look at Matthew Lloyd. Eight goals, two. It really stands out. And so if we can leave that one alone, let's have a look at the way in which Sydney are able to try and construct a, a goal up. Kerry needs to stay within the 30 metre range. If he gets further out than that, he's not going to be worth too much of a shot at goal. And Sydney just keep working the ball and try and hit him with it. Stan Wallace having a stint at the boundary. A little bit of ice there. Kerry's second goal, 22 in his career for him. 13-7 plays 6-10. Still very much Essendon's way. Stafford out of the congestion, up towards Luff at half forward. Punch away by Lucas. Chance for Kelly. Kick two in the first term. Kelly's kick into the pocket. Carey again. Good gather. Tries to get it back to Russell, who can kick a goal from there. Certainly in towards full forward and off the hands of the pack down there. Good's got a fingernail to it. It's rushed through for one behind. Now Essendon now. What's that? Uh, 38 points or something to that effect, but being the difference between the two sides. Sydney just getting a little bit of a sniff of the football. Essendon need to be careful because they don't want to be able to shut the shot and relax a little bit. Sydney might be able to pinch another couple of quick goals in this third. Carousella to Lucas to McVie. He's collared and taken to the ground. The umpire says it's a free kick. He was taken high. So McVie, long left footer. Plenty of left footers on Essendon's forward line. Bennett in front of Lloyd. Lloyd gets back quicker. Wasn't it? It was. The ball clear. Yeah, it was. Yeah, with the two youngsters, McVie, very good at half forward. He's he's picked up a bit of football in this third quarter, as we see here. Always got eyes up. He's up, looking at the game in front of him, and it comes around. And watch here, Rioli. Just the deft little push there with the backhand of his right hand, pushing it on out in the path of Lloyd and being able to run back onto goal. Uh, Dean Rioli 
just those little touches into the game can make a heck of a difference, particularly around the goal mouth. That's Lloyd's best effort in front of goals. His previous best was 8-1 against the Western Bulldogs, round 14, 1997. He's chasing John Coleman's record now against Sydney or South Melbourne. Geez, a chance because the Bombers are on top around the middle of the ground. They'll get clear again. Blumfield's kick. Gee, he went for it, Matthew Lloyd. Got his hands on it, slipped through. Matthews to defend. Goes out wide to Cresswell in turn to Maxfield. Maxfield goes down the line. Oh, a little bit of misunderstanding there between Kelly and one of his teammates. Fraser to Mercury. Mercury's little kick. Rioli, the gather, the positive hand pass to Hardwick. The kick in the direction of guess who? But get back goes Dunkley and takes a safe mark. We thought Andrew Dunkley had uh, hand or wrist trouble, but he's on the ground and he gets the handball away to Stevens. Stevens to Russell. Russell inside his defensive 50. He is a constructive player when he gets the football, Scotty Russell, and he puts it to Jason Saddington. Still in his defensive half. You can see the 50 metre arc there at which the Swans are defending. The kick goes to uh, Scotty Russell. He's tackled by Fraser. Good running support provided by Saddington. Let's himself down though. Misses whatever he intended to do by a very big margin, whether it was to pass it to a player or kick it to the advantage of. Missed both, kicked it out of bounds on the full free kick to Hardwick. You'll watch the pinpoint accuracy of Essendon's ball uh, field kicking and their hand passing. This is no exception. Berbikov running from defence. The kick smothered off the boot. Gathered there by Dunkley. Awkward kicking style by Andrew Dunkley. Reasonably effective, but brilliantly gathered by Barnard. It'll go bounding back. No, Lucas just cannot do anything right. And he's caught by Stafford near the middle of the ground. In a bear hug. Stafford puts it out in front for Kelly to mark. And the skipper, will he go for his third? No, he's got in short. Luff started at full back. He's now at full forward, takes the mark. He's had a couple of stints on Matthew Lloyd. But Duckley is now back there. And Troy Luff, a chance for a goal. Third in the 1998 best and fairest, Troy Luff. He'll kick from about 35 metres out. Essendon won the only contest between these two sides last year by 60 points. They may do that again today. But Luff brings them a little bit closer. He's kicked the goal. Luff's first for the afternoon. And again, a badly needed one for Sydney. 7-11 to 14-7. So 38 points is the margin. Well, not an impossible deficit, but they would have to lift right around the field and Luff going straight off the field and replaced by Goods. Now, Pete, it's just a matter of getting, getting them one at a time, one at a time, and uh, they've picked up two in this three in this quarter now. Well, up until that stage, Matthew Lloyd led the Swans by, three, uh, by two points. <laughs> Eight goals, two to six goals, 11. At uh, Maxfield now, handball over the top. Cresswell gives away a little bit of meterage. Matthews, the little kick, finds Schwoss. Well, he doesn't do much off his right side, but on this occasion finds Dunkley, Wharf, Russell, Stafford. Get rid of it, Greg. Oh, he does well for a big fella, doesn't he? Still close in, though. Stevens trying to outrun his opponent. He's caught. Got to get penalised. No grip. Oh, gee, you're lucky, Johnny. Very lucky. He had a chance to get rid of it, and you were nabbed. He's kicking towards the forward pocket area. Gee, that's a good effort, isn't it, for a big fellow? Couldn't quite control the football. Cook can't get into it either. Just absolutely stolen by Berbikoff, and then the Bombers combine beautifully. It finishes with Long out wide to Blumfield. Blumfield goes down the ground. Watch Buick. Will he give it a Lloyd? He'll get back onto his right. Probably go for goal. He'll blue with you, Darren. Matthew Lloyd. He's kicked it out of bounds on the full. Hey? Rioli's coming off, boys. Looks out. like he's uh, suffered from cramp. Uh, obviously playing his first game. The uh, uh, pace of the game is uh, caught up with him. Well, some uh, applause for Dean Rioli, is it? It looks as though he's come off the ground. And Simons is back on for the Bombers. The ball in the middle of the ground. Kick forward by Saddington. Only as far there as Carousella. Carousella and Hardwick combine across the half-back line. Carousella gets it back, goes very wide. Wellman, they might go down the ground on the far side. Now, Wellman's kick, well marked out there by McVie. He looks a likely type too. 
the kick towards. Oh, great leap of mark. He jumped early again, didn't he? He's going for goal number 10. He's going to wind himself up too. And he's going to kick a bomb. You can raise to your feet, folks. That's fantastic stuff. Matthew Lord, 10 goals. And the quarter still has six and a half minutes to run. Plus the last quarter. Folks, stay watching this at Vintage Footy. What to go to equal Coleman's record. This is most impressive, and this young man, he hasn't even turned 21 years of age yet. That comes up in a week or so's time, but he has just got the maturity beyond those 20 years of age. He, his understanding of the game is quite incredible there. Just the way he went about getting that mark, he really went at it hard and high and took it. We look at uh, Dean Rioli there in a little bit of trouble with his back, but it really sits there with Lloyd. Back to the centre, 10 goals. For the full forward, Lloyd. Long. Out to Fraser. Fraser at right half forward. Will he get number 11? He may. Lovely little touch up in the back of his opponent. And the umpire, I don't think he'd be game enough to stop this, Peter. It's yeah. spoiled for everyone. John Coleman, on two occasions, kicked 11 against South Melbourne. 11-2. Back in round two at Windy Hill, an 11-4 in 1953, also in round two at the Lake Oval. This for number 11. I'd reckon you get number 12 probably a little bit later on to make sure of the record. Not about that kick. Is there anything like a full forward kicking goals to whet the appetite of the average? Aussie Rules fan? No, there's not. I mean, back in our era as we were growing up, Ro, there'd be the Hudsons that kicked them and Jezzelenkos and Wades and McKennas. And, but it really started to go out of the game a bit. It was starting to be spread out a little bit. But now we've got this young man who is, has got everything going for him to be able to be one of those great full forwards of the game. You don't think Sheets would put him in the ruck just to keep him warm, do you? <laughs> well, I hope not because I think everyone's enjoying this. The viewers at home and certainly the people at the MCG. Terrific stuff. Stafford up high, gets the ball down in the direction of McPherson. Barnard tries to crash his way through. Still McPherson, dispossessed by Heffernan. They're going to get clear. Barnard combining with Lucas. Lucas, that's a good kick, isn't it? Lloyd on the lead. Well done. The uh, chase down by uh, Rowan Wharf to make it difficult for Matthew Lloyd. Still a struggle. Blumfield, he's got the footy. Tries to get the hand pass away. Kelly and Barry Young. Still Paul Kelly keeps it in. Schwoss run down by Hardwick. Great tackle. Desperate stop by Damien Hardwick. Not lauded the same way as Matthew Lloyd down the other end of the ground, but he worked very hard on centre wing. Handball away to Alessio. Mercury nearly took the mark from behind Dunkley. Buick looking for a free kick. Not forthcoming. Umpire will bounce just inside the forward 50 for Essendon. Rioli may have uh, a bit of hamstring trouble, or, maybe. Or cramp. Uh, no, it's Rob. cramp, boys. Just yeah. checked with the doctors, and uh, definitely the game's caught up with him. Yeah, you. Right well done by right. McVie. Sorry, Peter. Uh, Barry Young, little left foot kick into the pocket. Alessio. He's going to allow Heffernan. Heffernan. Oh, terrific stuff. Another youngster in the Essendon lineup. that wasn't out of bounds. Well, he just persisted, didn't he? He was in tight. He was very close to the boundary line. But he just kept going, and that's what you've got to do. Yeah. Wait till the umpire blows the whistle. He'll make the decision for you as we have another look at Chris Heffernan. And he just takes it on. He does very well there with Dunkley. He you know, squishes that little frame of his up against the point post and gets it through. They're on a roll, aren't they? Rodney Eade still working overtime. What can he conjure up? It'd have to be the absolute miracle by the Swans. They trail by nearly 10 goals, 56 points to be exact, 109 to 53. Another seven-goal quarter by Essendon, and there's still time left to add to that tally. It's a real scrum in the centre. Nobody's moved it. In fact, the ball's barely moved three metres away from the circle, so 
it will be another ball up with under five minutes remaining in the third quarter since quarter time well she and many of the other Sydney supporters haven't had too much to smile about Sydney started well they got perhaps their best start of the year but they couldn't go on with it overrun by pure weight of numbers Alessio and Stafford Stafford wins that one that's as good as a kick unfortunately to the wrong man in Lucas Lucas long bomb the half forward no mark to Saddington the umpire let it go Blumfield a chance Buick loves a goal this time perhaps Mercury that's over the line that's a behind one behind kick by Darren Buick or Mercury rather well, there are also going to be a feast of goals for the Essendon players at ground level if this continues the way it is. And that Matthew Lloyd, the way he's attacking the ball, if he doesn't mark it, he's going to bust the pack open and the ball's going to fall at ground level. And uh, with McCurry there, with Buick in amongst it, there's enough players to really make something out of this ground level work for Essendon in the forward line. Bennett indecisively, perhaps. Intended for Matthews. Mercury has taken the mark. Now Michael Long can't play on. <laughs> oh, why not? Oh, it was a, a, yeah. not a free kick. But I say why not, just because of the skills at which he went away with. Peter, just that, sensational here at the moment. There's a real entertainment stage being set for the Essendon Footy Club. So Mercury a chance to add to his two goals. Bearing the scars of battle. He goes in short. Blumfield doesn't let him down. Takes the mark. About 35 metres out and on a better... 45 to 50 degree angle. It's been pretty good, Justin Blumfield. He's had uh, 17 possessions and coming up for goal number two. Alessio off, and Ilya Grigic is going to come back on. Well, I think the match has got away from Sydney now, but they have to regain respectability. Blumfield runs out to the right, kicks it to the right. And kicks only a behind, I think. In fact, that is the case. So one goal, two. Yeah, he wasn't a real good approach at the ball, was it? I think he got too close to the man on the mark. And as you called, Pete, he deviated off the straight line. And, and that just threw it all out. He, he needed to be another maybe four metres back from the man on the mark when he kicked it. 58 points the margin in favour of Essendon. Wayne Schwoss to kick it back in for the Swans. Goes into the left back pocket. The mark is taken by Nix. It's been a uh, pretty big quarter by the Bombers. And they've broken this game wide apart. Cresswell at left half back. Handball in towards the centre. Maxfield quickly on towards half forward. Up high over the top of Cook. It could have nearly been a free kick to the Swans player. Went for the second person in line there in Saddington. Saddington goes for and just misses. Hits the post. One goal, one to Jason Saddington when the Swans badly needed a goal. A forlorn sight there of Craig O'Brien on the interchange bench. We feel he may have hurt his leg and uh, he's hoping that it's no damage done to the injury that he has suffered in the past couple of years. Behind was Bennett, who had earlier in the quarter the job on Lloyd, Blumfield. Well, they might be able to get another one here. Berbacoff squares it. Out the centre half forward, Matthews is there, Lloyd got a couple of hands to it, couldn't complete the mark, and that's been a rarity today. Tries to affect a hand pass, Buick takes it from Young, this time Darren Buick, and Boris has missed again. So another behind to Darren Buick, a little bit frustrated at his goal kicking efforts, he's had about three goes from round about 50. He's determined to get a goal <laughs> too, he's not looking up much when he gets it. <laughs> I don't think he'd be looking at the coach's box either. So the closing moments of the third quarter, knock on by Stafford, can't find a teammate. Schwoss maybe, Carousella put his body on the line, so too did Simons. Now McPherson, McPherson from midfield, up towards full forward. Good punch away by Barnard, clears the zone, gets it away from Duckley back onto the forward line for the second time in the match. He was at full forward late in the second quarter and now in a similar role late in the third. But we do believe he may have an injury to a hand or wrist. And that could be one of the reasons he's up there. Boundary throw in. Right forward pocket for Sydney. They lost the last time here at the MCG to Essendon by 60 points. It may be a similar or bigger margin today. Barry Young can't get clear. Barnard can. Out to Berbikov. 
Goes out wide, tries to find Lucas coming into the game in the third quarter. Good news for him, a long hand pass. Buick again, Great screaming option. down the wing. Plenty of them up forward. Still Buick. Buick at right centre wing. Lloyd Wolf over the top. And Lloyd looking back, hoping, hoping for a free kick. But there was none there from the umpire. Can you become maybe a little conscious now oh. of uh, Matthew Lloyd's performance? Oh, I think you can, but I mean... You know, that's a question, well, why wouldn't you, though? He's just really doing it so well. What I think he erred in there was he, he led a little bit too early. Uh, Darren Buick was running quite freely down the wing, could have perhaps had another bounce. Then when he led, he could have been within 30 or 40. Otherwise, he stretched himself a little bit that time. Little chance here for Long. Little chance. That's all he needs. That's all he needs. He's missed, though. Just off to the right. He hooked the kick a little bit too far, his first score. He hasn't scored, but he's had... Uh, Fairly impressive stats again today, Michael Long. He uh, certainly thrilled us the other night in that match against uh, the Kangaroos. He's had nine kicks and six hand passes today. Nicks to himself and uh, runs into the right back pocket. He's under pressure in the finish. He's going to cough it up, isn't he? Mercury, Saddington. Still Jason Saddington. Russell, then Stafford. It was Wharf, actually. Then Cook. Back to Matthews, run down, very good chase. Excellent chase, it might have been Heffernan. And the mark has been taken here by Dunkley. Well, this is a bit of a wing and a prayer, because you're going to go back to round 16 in 1995, when Andrew Dunkley kicked his last goal. Seven for his career, Will. Well, so, now, every backman, and I speak from experience, when he gets down to this particular end of the ground... I'll back him, no worries about that. Good on you, five on it. Well... A bit of a wobbly old punt kick, but who cares? It was straight, right on the siren. A goal of the Swans, kicked by Andrew Dunkley. That's their eighth goal. And at three-quarter time, Essendon leads 17-11, which is 113. Sydney, 8-12-60. A difference of 53 points in favour of the Bombers. And in that quarter, Essendon kicked seven goals, four. And the Swans kicked four goals, two. Matthew Lloyd, 11 goals, two at three-quarter time here in the match between the Bombers and the Swans. Everyone anxious to see if he can add to it maybe in the last term. Yes, well, that's probably all the interest that there is left in the game, and the Sydney can add some respectability to their score. But 52, 53 points to the margin. They lost here in their previous encounter by 60 points, and it looks much the same this afternoon. From the MCG, we'll take a break. Don't go away. Back with more. Next ever, we've been checking on records. Bob Pratt holds the all-time goal-kicking record in round three. 15-3 in 1934. Guess who it was against? It was against Essendon. Final term at the MCG, 53 points is the margin. Essendon leading 17-11 to 8-12. And the star, of course, has been Matthew Lloyd. Can he continue on? Good tackle by Krauts to hold up the Bombers on that occasion. And it's going to be a ball up as Young gets himself up from the MCG turf. Good crowd today. Certainly in excess of 40,000, you'd reckon. The last few contests between these sides have been very close, apart from last year. And it was 60 points Essendon's way. Creswell, Carousella gets onto it, out on the centre wing. Looks for options, sees Blumfield, Blumfield, back to Doolan. Doolan to half forward. Bennett punches to the front, Crouch does well in a tight situation. Quick kick, Grigich didn't have much luck at the West Coast Eagles. He'll be glad to get back to some good form. Blumfield up toward Lloyd, full forward, couldn't take the mark, just a little nudge out, long fumbles, you don't see that too often under pressure, Barnard missed it as well, Sydney Dunkley gets it to the boundary line, and uh, right in front of the Swans bench, Dipper, who are they? Yeah, Craig O'Brien, I've just checked the doctors, he's a tight back and does sort of, uh, and I help his hamstring there, Daniel McPherson, Troy Luff and Troy Cook. Thanks, Dipper. The boundary throw-in, right half forward for the Bombers. Not clear by Heffernan. Out the back door to Doolan. Handball's pretty good. Barnard, Blumfield, Michael Long. First goal for the day to Michael Long. Eighteenth goal of the game to the Bombers. 59 points the margin in favour of Essendon. 
Well, they just come out at it too, too easily here now, Essendon's side. Uh, Justin Blumfield has been very good mm. right throughout the day, hasn't he? He started on the doing the job on Kelly and Schwoz holding between the centre and the forward pocket, but then has gone on and started to win a heap of possession, and he's been quite creative with it. In this particular time, he's able to set the skipper up, Michael Long, to finish it off. So the bounce back in the centre. 59 points in favour of Essendon. Cresswell. Back he goes to uh, Matthews. Matthews kick in the direction of Carey. Gathered by Wellman. Wellman, the little kick into the middle. Really wasn't a percentage play. McVie down in front there of Blumfield. Good gather. Out in front there of Lloyd. Leading in the race for the ball. Gives the handball away. Look for Alessio. Chipping in was Dunkley. In goes Lloyd on Andrew Dunkley. Forces a boundary throw in. Nearly out as far as the wing here at the MCG in front of the uh, Great Southern Stand. Beautiful day for a game of footy. Maybe a little warm. We see Mark Mercury being yeah. attended to on the bench. Yeah, it's just a bit stiff in the back there. So with the doctors who are attending him there. And uh, also we've got uh, Dean Wallace, Fraser and Rioli. Maxfield does well. Eventually back to Cresswell. Cresswell up towards full forward. A contest there. Hardwick maybe a little high on Damien Hardwick. And he'll take the free kick across the half-back line for Essendon. Wharf now on Lloyd. I think that's the fourth opponent he's had today. Of course, Lux had a couple of stints on him. Now, Wellman is uh, going to be directed to take that kick again, or is it not going to him? It's coming back. It's got to go back to Hardwick, Hardwick, I think, yep. Peter. It's Damien Hardwick, distant fairest in 98. 59 points the margin early in the final quarter. Hatton of Playwood says, yes, the Essendon will win by more than that, but you play for pride, you play for your jumper, you play for your club. Let's see what Sydney can do to lift themselves out of the mire. Wellman now. Well, they're certainly running much better than Sydney still. The Bomber players, Doolan. Kicks to right half forward and a contest. Knocked over the line by Saddington. It's out of bounds in front of the MCC members. Certainly hasn't been one of Sydney's worst today. Saddington, best first year player in 1998. Dean Wallace sitting on the bench. Had two good first matches. The best opening for him in a season for a long time. Grigic in front. Doesn't get a decisive tap. In the end gets a kick. Likewise indecisive. Shuffled out the back. Inboard. McVie to Doolan. Bounces. Not too kindly for him. Runs into Berbakov. Did well to get it to Wellman. Wellman's kick. Pinpoint accuracy needed. And he finds Blumfield. And takes a nice divot out of the turf. Long way from goal. A couple of kicks from there. Unless he had a big run from behind. Tries to spread eagle the pack. Stafford around Grigic. Not a great hand pass. Now Blumfield again. A little doubt about that hand pass. Carousella. Barnard fumbles at the crucial moment. Does well. Comes back. The brute goes at goal. And he has kicked one. The Lord he got launched over the line. Well, he could have let it go. That was unfair. <laughs> Couldn't well, miss this. No, uh, this will be a record for Essendon against uh, Sydney or South Melbourne. He'll break Coleman's record with this kick. Number 12. <laughs> well, Paul Barnard will have a word to say because it was a certain goal that he was rock. <laughs> well, there's 50,324 people here today. And uh, if any of them are disappointed with one player's uh, performance, well, you'd have to say that they're hard to please because Matthew Lloyd has just been terrific. He's yeah. had 18 kicks, 11 marks, and kicked a total of 12 goals. So the Matthew Lloyd show continues here at the MCG. 19-11 plays, 8 goals, 12. It's uh, 65 points, the margin, in favour of Essendon. The Swans get the ball up towards half-forward, punched away from Carey. This boy doesn't mind getting a bit of the Sharon either. Blake Carousella out wide. Barnard bounces a little awkwardly, but he knocks it back to the advantage of Fletcher. Fletcher's little left foot kick goes close to the line. Heffernan, bit of pace, bit of skill too to assess his situation there. Berbikoff and Barnard, eventually Berbikoff. Oh, spectacular mark of Blumfield. What a great grab. 
to half forward. Buick, McVie, still Buick. Now, they just lost the plot there. Giving it up to Dudley. Out wide, mark taken by Doolan. Doolan gives the hand pass. Back into the centre of the ground. Barry Young to Wellman. Sean Wellman, round onto the left. Little kick, all right. Buick is marked. Only went about 15 metres, but sufficient to be awarded the mark. Darren Buick will kick from about 40 metres out directly in front. Well, Justin Blumfield again being involved in it, but uh, here we go, Darren Buick, game number 198. So a milestone coming his way shortly. He's still looking for his first goal. When he took the mark, there was a sigh of exasperation as he went to ground. Can he do it? He's a good kick, Darren Buick. And that is a goal, I would think. First goal deep into the last turn. Kicked by Darren Buick. Essendon have kicked their 20th. It's a big margin now, and the Swans really have to concentrate. The last 14 and a half minutes, Blumfield's great grab. What a wonderful start to the season of the Bombers there. Two wins, 39 points, 35, and this one's going to be anything you want. It was Buick's first goal. He's kicked one goal, three. And the procession continues. Doolan out of the congestion. Maxfield onto Bonford. Haven't seen much of him today. Rigic tries to get it to a teammate. Long, the underground hand pass to Carousella. Off a step. Where is he? Lloyd, no. Duckley. Duckley out into the pocket. Matthews from half-back left to Creswell. And they run it out through Crouch. Crouch has kicked a half-forward. Bombers with the numbers. A little bit of interference there. Barnard. You'll be having words with Lloyd later on. Fletcher. Oh, that's beautifully done. Alessio. He could build four blocks of flats where he is. Wharf. Punches to the front. Did well. Duckley. Now Nix brings it to the member stand side. And Matthews. Crouch. Crouch up to midfield. Luff gets sandwiched. Mark. Ball free kick. Troy Luff at midfield. Pete, just looking at how great this route's become. Essendon had some 45 disposals in this last quarter. This is just number 20 for Sydney. Well, more than double. Scotty Russell. Well, I haven't seen too much of him today. Keary. Well, he's tried hard, I'll say, from limited opportunities up there. Tries to get it back to Crouch. Doolan. Scouts along the boundary line. Blumfield. A lovely ball. If he can regain his footing and composure, he does that OK. Kicks it straight to the opposition and Kelly. Kelly goes bounding forward. Kicks it to Stephen Carey. Carey wider still. Scotty Russell's kick. Gets good distance to the front of the goals. The Bombers combining back there. It'll be Grigic. Little toe poke in front of Stafford. Kelly. Slight kick but well marked by Berbikoff from behind Troy Luff. Pretty lousy. Called the play on. Gee, they had plenty of numbers, didn't they? Doolan out wide goes Ben Doolan in the direction of Buick. Knocked away by Schwoss. Schwoss goes back with the right. And a mark has been taken by Bomford. Looks to play on quickly. Should kick a goal, Maxfield. Goes long. Lovely left foot kick by Stuart Maxfield just off to the right. Scores a behind. Two behinds against his name as Mark Fraser. Limbers up. Mark Mercury. He just might sit it out now. There's only 12 minutes left. His team are going to win the game quite comfortably, you would think. And not much point taking any risks with a quality player of Mark Mercury. And it is Fletcher to come off to be replaced by Fraser. Michael Long does the kicking in. Well, he's kept on the side. He's kicked in. The only thing he hasn't done today is brought out the drinks. Lucas. Dial forward. Lloyd. Can he get back? Nick B. Onto the left. Snaps. And the rookie has missed. He's kicked down there behind. His first score of the day. Gee, he's looked very good in his game. I, I didn't see him in round one, but he's returned to the side this week. Uh, Mark McVeigh, and he's very, very composed in the forward line. Uh, his auntie, Colleen, plays lacrosse for Australia. Very, 
very good athlete she is, and I think the whole family now have a lot going for them. Nicks to Botford to Maxfield. Off the side of the boot almost. Doolan gets back quickly. Confronted by Luff. Alessio. Not a bad sort of a hand pass. Off a step, Berbakov. Bombs it long towards right half forward. Ball hits the deck. Creswell looks for a hand pass intended for Bomford. Back to Creswell. They're working overtime. The Swans defence kicks up towards centre wing. Oh, Matthews. Nothing for it. Not a free kick. He regains his composure and the footy on the carry. He's off. Long's got him. The long and the short of the tangle. The excellent skipper wins that one. Maxfield dispossessed. Chance for Heffernan. The hand pass effective. Barnard couldn't take the knock on from uh, Carousella. Lloyd. Chance for Carousella off target. And uh, Blake has registered just the one behind. You know, Carousella. I think, if I, if my memory serves me correct, spent most of the first term, probably all of it, on the bench. He's had 24 touches in three quarters. This is Jared Bennett to bring the ball back. One of Lloyd's many opponents today onto Maxfield. Maxfield in the left back pocket decides to go across the face of goal. Carey is marked. 20 goals, 13 to 8 goals, 13. A 12 goal difference. Punched away by Barnard. Wellman. Goods for the Swans. Hand pass to Schwoss. Obviously no one to kick to. He just bombs away Wayne Schwoss. And that's not his trademark. Hard wick to Grigic. Grigic out wide. Buick will gather. Tries to get back onto his right. Handball away. Nearly a good gather by Carousella. Knocks it back in the direction there of Doolan. Hand pass from Russell. Found Cresswell. Back to uh, it's not Scotty Russell, it's Matthews. Schwoss gets it back inside to McPherson. McPherson towards half forward, and the mark is taken here by Stevens. He looks to play on. The ball slips off the side of his boot. Luff is there. Still Luff, but gathered well by Berbikov. He's making the most of his just very short and brief playing time on the ground. Heffernan to Barnard. The crowd get excited. It's going in the area of Lloyd. He's got it. Gee, that's another example of the strength that Matthew Lloyd has added to his all-round game. He's perhaps not the quickest fellow over the turf, but his strength has built up, and he was hard to displace for Rowan Wharf in this contest. Yeah, Wharf does everything. He's right on the, on, the, on the shoulder of Lloyd all the way, but again, just taking the front position and having a physique that is strong enough now to be able to hold that front position. Well, I think Matthew Lloyd's making it easy for uh, Terry Wheeler to give votes. <laughs> it's well and truly good. And actually, it raises the thing, doesn't matter, the old three, two and one. I mean, uh, Brownlow medal, some people get three votes when there was no one out there on a given day. And this man has just so completely dominated this match. Saddington for the Swans goes very wide and finds the youngster in uh, Jared Bennett out there wide at right half back for the Swans. Troy Luff lookalike from a distance. Goods in front. Can't complete it. The Brutes got it. Barnard to Barry Young. He'll give it back to Paul Barnard. They share it around. Lucas certainly having a good last quarter. Oh, Lloyd, a little bit of a push. Umpire says play off. Buick in a goal. And misses. Oh, Morris. I'm sure the crowd are dirty on Matthew Lloyd. Because every time they go forward, the cheers seem to anticipate that Lloyd's going to add to his already 12-goal tally. Yeah, look, there's no doubt the stick's gone out of the game. And I don't think Matthew Lloyd will chase anything here himself. He'll just continue to palm the ball out, give it out when, it's, when the opportunity arises. Uh, there's no way he's a selfish man. Creswell dispossessed. A little gift to Saddington. Saddington now to set a wing. It's all listened to. And Big Ilya's got it. Keen to bring uh, back some good form after a rotten season of bad luck over in the West. Goods to half forward. Now a chance for Sydney. It's Barry. On the left. Sits OK. Snapshot. And what's he done with that one? Looks not bad. I think it's a goal. It is. Troy Luff 
Gets his second. Troy Luff, another of the beaten opponents of Lloyd. But he's come back well. Now at the other end of the ground, as I said, his second goal. Yeah, Sydney have just been quite undermanned here today. We've, we've mentioned Lockett and Lewis, no Lachlan all missing. And they really do need to gather something together now. They've got a big game next Saturday night against the Kangaroos at the SCG. They need to re. 67 points to margin in favour of Essendon. Uh, the scoreboard here at the ground has 20 14. We have 20 goals 15. Well, probably uh, inconsequential, really. But uh, we'll make sure that that scoreboard's right by the end of the game. Doolan's kick lands the ball at half forward. Heffernan, snapshot for goal. Lloyd getting back, so is Wharf. Just gets through for a behind to the Bombers. Kick by Chris Heffernan. He's kicked one goal, one. And Matthew Nix to bring it back into play for the Swans. Kick to the members' side. Botford. From Saddington. Now up to Scotty Russell on left centre wing. Russell tries a balk. Now he kicks long to half forward. And that's OK. The mark taken by Barry. Too far out to score. Squares it. Schwoss on the end of it. Certainly had plenty of kicks. Brushes the tackle. And the score is correct. According to Dipper, Bomford in the meantime goes at goal. I think he's missed to the far side. Or what in the goal umpire? He has. So just the one behind as Carey takes a rest on the bench. Rather pensive. A day that promised so much for Sydney that delivers so little in the end. Well, Simons, a little bit late with the tackle there on Kelly. He would have perhaps got a free kick anyway. The Bradley medalist, Schwoss his target. Knock away by Hardwick. Alessio mops up. Two Sydney players are there. Kelly takes the mark in front of Simons again. Cresswell suffering there. <laughs> Nix goes at goal. Won't quite get there. The long arms of Alessio. He goes up. Gets it back to Berbikov. Very young. Away he goes. If he can get the bounce, he can in the end. And Young with a wobbly punt kick. It's flat yeah. after he kicks it. Yeah. And that will, that's unnecessary. And the free kick will be taken downfield by Justin Blumfield. Pretty ordinary play, wasn't it? Uh, by the Swans, Barry Young. He was probably always going to get his kick away, and then in the finish, Leo Barry knocked him to the ground. Essendon still have possession of the ball on centre wing. It's Wellman. Sean Wellman. Just lobs the ball up in the air towards half forward. Punched away by the Swans. Over for a boundary throw. In about 65, 70 metres around from the Essendon goal. We've got five and a half minutes left. Matthew Lloyd has kicked 12 goals in this game. And he's been the dominant player for most of it. Alessio gets rid of his opponent in goods, tries to get the hand pass away, but goods gathers. And then uh, the little kick by that player. Not quite gathered by McVie. Matthews, then Carey, then Bomford. Just perhaps a little slow to get rid of the ball there, Andrew Bomford. Lucas, well tackled by John Stevens in win Hardwick, and the umpire quickly on the scene will bounce the ball just forward of centre wing, favouring the Swans. Well, I've liked uh, Damien Hardwick's game across half back. He's very much in control, and I think Sheeny probably acknowledges that when he sends someone like Scotty Lucas, who was out of sorts early, back into the back line and where he can work with Hardwick and with Sean Wellman, people who can coach him and get him back into some degree of confidence. Chance to get clear now, the Bombers. Michael Long. Out wide to Hardwick, in turn to Fraser. Loves the uh, the run towards full foot. Lloyd again, got his hands on it, not by. Away goes Wharf. Well done, Rowan Wharf. It's come down there with uh, well a lot of monotony. Alessio dispossessed by Crouch and the Swans from half back. Well, if they got the ball down there quickly, Wharf was a long way from Lucas. Goods. Luff. Not the greatest of bounces there. He's already kicked two. Troy Luck. I don't think he's going to get one here. Maxfield through the congestion. 
chips it in short, but too short over the head of Russell. The mark taken by Fraser. Both former Collingwood players, of course. Barnard in the left back pocket. Up to Young. Hardwick. Straight down the centre of the ground. He'll go long. Where's Lloyd? Not in this contest. Carousel. Did he get the mark? No, he didn't. Troy Cook flips it up. Here he is. That's not the third on Carroll. What about Michael Long? Put me one sixteen to nine fourteen. Well, we're we'll seeing one of the great individual performances here at the MCG today. I don't think too many in the crowd have left, despite the one-sidedness of the contest. Hardwick's long kick, travelled a good 60 metres, Terry. Yeah, Carousella was very good in there, but as Robert says, watch Michael Long here. Just a little deft touch on the up. Good work. So, 1938, John Coleman, uh, the best by an Essendon player. 14 goals. With three and a half minutes left, the interest in whether Matthew Lloyd can equal it. You wonder whether he can beat it. He's kicked 13. They've got to get the ball up there first. They're a chance to get clear from half back. Player dragged down there was uh, Sean Wellman, and he's going to receive the free kick. Is that the most Matty Lloyd's kick for us, isn't it? Yes, it is, Dipper. His best previously was 8-1. Berbikoff running in support of Wellman. Gets it down towards half forward. It spills to the back. Are you unselfish, Blake? Do you want to look for Matthew Lloyd? He's overrun. Well done there by McPherson. He was certainly disadvantaged. Now he's going to be penalised. That's rubbish. Yeah, insult to injury there. I mean, McPherson's doing everything. He's doing the good body work now. He falls on the ball. He didn't drag it back in. The ball was squashed in there. Now, I always thought the rule was against you if you drew the ball back into you. Didn't on that occasion. Carousella, 25 possessions. Kicks it across the face. Yes, he's at the back. He's got it. You know who. Have a shot, son. You won't get this opportunity uh, too many times to equal one of the magnificent goal-kicking records of all time. A lot of people go record is saying that John Coleman was one of the best players we've ever seen and he's got the goal kicking record for the Bombers individual 14 in 1938 Matthew Lloyd trying to equal it goes out to kick the screw punt and misses anti climax Lloyd he's third behind 13 goals three Well, you have days where people ask, where were you the day Neil Armstrong landed on the moon? Or where were you when J.F. Kennedy was assassinated? Well, you know, this boy, Matthew Lloyd, he's going to create some big ones later on down the track, I'm sure. Opportunity for Sydney Schwoss. A little give. Now it's Kelly's turn. Kicks into the man of the mark. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. The bomb comes down in Lloyd's direction again. Troy Luff is down. Now it's Bennett. To Kerry. Last time we saw him, he was on the bench. Before that, he was at full forward. Kerry around Blumfield. Kicks up to Nix. Nix at left half back. Oh, over the head of Bennett. Saddington mops up. Bennett provides the shepherd. Inboard to Bomford. Good penetrating kick up towards centre half forward. It's all less than Alessio missed it. Berbakov should mop up and does onto Lucas. Doolin at centre half back. Doolin the half forward. Well, Carousel got collected there with a hefty knock. And again, it's Bennett. A little chip up towards Matthews on centre wing. Squares it to Carey. To the running Knicks. Some tunnel ball from Carey. Hefferton. A little give McVee onto his left. Should be a Sydney mark. Has been taken by Stevens. And by gives him the call to play on. A mongrel punt to half forward. <laughs> what bad footy all round. But Lucas, after missing the mark, should get the kick. And he does. Big Ilya. Oh, he's kicked the wind out of that one. To set half forward. 
missed by McPherson. Chance for Wolf. Well, the Swannies working overtime. They're trying to keep it away from Lloyd. He may be denied another shot at the record. Matthews out to Nix. So the ball seesawing between centre half forward and centre half back. Schwoss gives it back to Nix. He's nearly caught by Young. Good tackle. Setting to the fumble. Too high on Blumfield. It's the free kick. The advantage paid. Hardwick. Here they go. Nick V. Nick V with the left down. One for four minutes. Bjorko takes the mark. Six is remaining. They're all saying, give it to Lloydy. Might be too late, Dipper. I did date John Coleman, Petey. Uh, I think you made mention of that. It was 1954, not yeah. 1938. No, it wasn't that... Uh, he would have had a beard <laughs> very early in his career. And the boy from Hastings started in, I think, 49. So, you are almost an anti-climax here. They were all vain for Lloyd to get it. Buick has kicked one goal for academic interest in this kick. But he's got it just the same. Two goals for. And uh, even the umpire comes up and congratulates Lloyd. He's got the footy. All sorts of records today. He won't get that footy off him. Big win for us, and then that's all you can say. 22 17, 149. Defeating Sydney comprehensively after an even first quarter. 9 14, 68. Well, Michael Long, who will remember his first matches, can I say acting captain? Acting permanent captain almost.